Marcus Conti reporting on black racism in America on the rise. Blacks are racists. Right? Are they? So there's an interesting article. Or is it all just, is it all the youth? Is it all the youth of, of today? Today's youth are radicalized against each other. Anybody who is, find the scapegoat. Make it a, make it a white male. Make it a white man. Make it somebody Somebody, just make it somebody other than ourselves that we can blame for all our problems. So there's an article uh, at Yale. Author's name is uh, Isis Davis Marks, right? Very black. <laughs> Take a look. She's definitely black. Oh, isn't she lovely? Isn't she wonderful? I can't be seen. It's not working. Uh, so there's there's the lovely Isis. She named herself Isis. Or did a mother name her Isis? Where's the other ones, man? Come on, man. What the fuck? This shit's going on here, man. What is going on here? Hey, Google, what is racism? According to Wikipedia, racism is the belief in the superiority of one race over another, which often results in discrimination and prejudice towards people based on their race or ethnicity. Okay, so that's her other shot. Such a... Isn't she wonderful? Ah, la, 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 la. There's... Oh, look how wonderful child she is. All right? So this is Isis Davis Marks. All right, to the best of my ability, that's who she is. And I'll leave the link for the, uh, the full article down below. But first, let's do a reading from the good book. From the good book, from the, the good prophet, George Orwell. With those children, he thought, the wretched woman must lead a life of terror. Another year, two years, and they would be watching her night and day for symptoms of unorthodoxity. Unorthodox Nearly all children nowadays were horrible. What was worse of all was that by means of such organizations as the spies, they were systematically turned into ungovernable little savages. And yet this produced in them no tendency whatsoever to rebel against the discipline of the party. On, on the contrary, they adored the party and everything connected with it. The songs, the processions, the banners, the hiking the drilling with dummy rifles, the yelling of slogans, the worship of Big Brother. It was all a glorious game to them. All their ferocities was turned toward, outwards against the enemy of the state, against foreigners, traitors, saboteurs, thought criminals. It was almost normal for people over 30 to be frightened of their own children. And with good intention, for reason, for good reason, for hardly a week passed in which the Times did not carry a paragraph describing some eavesdropping little sneak, some, quote, child hero, was the phrase generally used, had overheard some compromising remarks and denounced his parents to the thought police. Right. So that's George Orwell laying the foundation for what you're about to hear, right? Now, am I, am I exaggerating? Am I making, you know, th these enormously, you know, reaching, reaching comparisons? Now, in this case, it is racism. And this is, this is one of the most obvious ones uh, going on right now, the form of, you know, this kind of thought crime, right? right? We saw it with Kavanaugh, just the fact that he was a white male, and he, you know, there was, there was allegations of whatever, uh, but no proof, no evidence, right? So the 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 bottom line is this: for racism to exist currently on the books, you have to be some sort of a victim. Right? You have to be a woman who was abused by somebody, or a a uh, you know so, somebody uh, of your color, of your national origin, of your your something, right? And always to be a victim. There has to be someone who did it to you. And in this case, it's always the white male, right? So here's Yale University, a university, right? We're supposed to be like, oh, fucking university, right? All smart people go there, train our kids to be smart, send them to Yale. Oh, how prestigious, right? So, 
So here's the remarks. Now this this is an op-ed piece, right? This was published in Yale um, as a staff columnist on February 7th uh, by Isis David Davis Marks. I showed you her picture. We know who she is, right? I'll, I'll drop the link down below. You can verify it yourself. Yale Daily News, right? And she is a staff writer, staff columnist. The article is still up. No, no consequence. Yale supports it, right? Am I, am I false to say that Yale is supporting racism? Well, I haven't told you what it is yet, but you're going to find out, right? So let's listen to what she said, and then I'll come back. Right? Everyone knows a white boy with shiny brown hair and a saccharine smile that conceals his great ambitions. He could be in Grand Strategy or the Yale Political Union. Maybe he's the editor-in-chief of the news. He takes his classes, he networks, and when it comes time for his graduation, he wins all the awards. One day I'll turn on the television, and I'll see him sitting down for his Senate confirmation hearing. Yes, he'll be a bit older, with tiny wrinkles sprouting at the corners of his eyes and a couple of gray hairs jotting out of the top of his widow's peak. But that smile, that characteristic saccharine smile, will remain the same. When I'm watching the white boy, who is now a white man by this point on CNN, I'll remember a racist remark that he said, an unintentional utterance that he made when he had one drink too many at a frat party during the sophomore year. I'll recall a message that he accidentally left open on his computer when he forgot to log out of iMessage, where he likened the woman's body to a peculiarly large animal. I'll kick myself for forgetting to screenshot the evidence. All right, so what are, what are they doing? She's promoting, she's promoting spying on people, right? Spying on white man, the white man who's now, the white boy who's now a white man. Particularly uttering, comparing a woman's body to an animal. Well, like pig, like dog, like like horse, hippo, elephant, right? like as if that's a bad thing, as if the guy's fucking a guy because he's a white male and he's goofing on a woman in in college, calling a woman a horse, a fucking. I mean, come on, these are thought crimes, right? Prosecuting for thought crimes. And when I'm w watching him smile that smile, I'll think that I could have stopped it. Right? When when he's on CNN, well, that's a face crime, right? When I when I when I'm watching him smile that smile, I'll think that I could have stopped it. That's the same thing you saw with the kids wearing the mega hats at the at the Lincoln Monument in D.C. Right? They were the kid was guilty of a smirk, a face crime, right? To blacks, your whiteness is a, is a crime. That's racism. Hey Google, what is racism again? My apologies. I don't understand. Hey Google, what is racism? According to Wikipedia, racism is the belief in the superiority of one race over another, which often results in discrimination and prejudice towards people based on their race or ethnicity. All right, let me continue. So it put, she continues, it put the power of this institution, Yale, into perspective for her and led me to reckon with the fact that many of us will become extremely influential some of our peers will sit in the war rooms and with the red buttons, capable of making life or death decisions in a split second. All of these things made me ask myself, what will the classmates who made those unintentional utterances, those subtle racist remarks, those assaults towards women, be doing on the eve of the 15th reunion? Will they be high officials, CEOs of large companies, presidents even? This problem begins far before our classmates graduate, and we need to call them out on their transgressions boldly and publicly. We should make instances of sexual assault, harassment, public knowledge. Let me read that again. We should make instances of sexual assault and harassment public knowledge. Right? In their view, what is sexual assault and, and right? Whisper networks. Whisper networks, which are known as private chains of information which pass along knowledge of sexual assault, are useful, but insufficient in spreading information about dis, uh, indiscretions. 
there's secret networks of people whispering back and forth about 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 what someone what was in someone's private email about and and we're, we're weaving it into racism all right i think that we need to continue to call our classmates out but it's still not enough after all it wasn't enough to stop Kavanaugh. 30 years later we kick ourselves when it's too late but i can't do it anymore i can't let things slip by i'm watching you white boy and this time i'm taking the screenshot ugh oh, the fucking visceral the the visceral racist reaction you get when you read that you feel well i don't feel sorry for her anymore i feel like it's they are victims and you see how Orwell predicted that uh, that they're not they're not um, the the party the Democratic Party that kind of supports this sort of behavior welcomes it. No, no, no. This is good. We welcome we welcome you into the party, and the party becomes uh, uh, so important to them. See, the people like this that have this view don't really believe in 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 a, you know a deep state coup or a a financial crisis in our country. They believe that everything has to do with with uh, being the victim, the racism, how you feel overrides the actual facts of the matter, right? And I think Orwell did a great job in in showing how our, our uh, by subduing real information and real facts, uh, we're now electronically, we're now moving towards this uh, ultra conspiratorial place like thought you know thought thought crimes right these are not even they're not even actual crimes but he thought about it based on his saccharine smile and his great ambition right that's where we're at right now so I think Yale I mean my take on this Yale is is a racist organization why if you support it and you're being called out on it. I'm not the first to report on it. I'm just I, I saw it somewhere else and I'm reporting on it now. I went and found it. But it's now they're now being called out, Yale, and they, they let it hang. And need I mention, could you imagine if I would to if I were a white male insinuating this, just change read the article and then change white boy to black girl, right? And read through it as if I'm the white man. Could you imagine? I, I would the, the 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 fucking thought police would be at my door, with guns drawn, trying to arrest arrest me for racism, harassment, hate speech, a hate crime against poor black women. So it it is the people that again I'll I'll leave it there. I mean because it's, it's it just gets your blood boiling right when you hear this shit. Right? It's that it's that. Um, is that the people that want or ancestrally have been uh, racially discriminated against, I guess that is the argument, right? Now, not only, they don't want equality. They want payback. They want retribu some sort of retribu retribution to anybody who is white male right now, regardless if you were there. I, I, I'm old and I certainly wasn't there. I was born in, you know, in the late 60s, but... I was fucking two years old. I'm a victim for two years old, right? Like, like as if you know, I, I punched a guy in the face on the, on the bridge crossing in Selma, you know, wherever, right? I, it was my fault. I did it all, right? Because I happened to be my my grandparents weren't even fucking here, right? We were from Italy, right? <laughs> I had the gangsters from Italy, right? Or well, France, maybe I don't know where the fuck they're from. I, they're probably from Italy, right? Contis, right? So. um so it's a heavy, I mean, it's a heavy subject. I think that Yale should immediately revoke this person's writing privilege on Yale's, Yale's newspaper, public newspaper, right? School newspaper, right? But instead what will happen is she'll get elevated to editor-in-chief because she ruffled some feathers. She made people think about racism. Not, it's not the kind of racism that you should be. It's the opposite. It's, it's, she should be doing the opposite. Marcus Conti reporting.